So, good afternoon, everybody. Sorry I'm bouncing around. Must be the chocolate milk and water. So, I have a haul. And my laptop is not sitting very good. I have a haul from a couple items from Target, I believe, or Walmart. One of the two. I, I've been to so many different places and Dollar Tree. Um, I did get some Halloween stuff. This shirt is an X-Large Youth and it fits me. So I might do some sort of tie-dye. Um, hopefully. Um, some other, I believe, yeah, these are Walmart these crazy emoji stickers and then these letters are really cool I'm working on some projects with that um, other Dollar Tree stuff I'm not really impressed with these floating shelves because I won't be able to put them up on my wall unless I'm at my own place and not an apartment. I've been doing some organizing today, hence that's why I'm doing this haul right now. Um, I will try to have a video of me and my car somehow. Um, not probably driving, but probably just gonna show you um, what's inside. I, I have to <laughs> figure out a lot of it. Like I'm probably not gonna know what to do with some of the controls and whatnot. But anyway, I went to, so I went to a Sun Prairie Dollar Tree as well. Um, I decided to pick up some of these little pad, mini writing tablet things, because I will use those. Uh, and I've got to learn driving. I did buy some Halloween cards. I got that one most because of the owl. Somebody as special as you comes along once in a full moon at a happy Halloween. But I don't want all that part of it. <laughs> um, let's see. Um, the Sun Prairie Dollar Cray went to only had two of these paper packs. So these are kind of some of the, if you can see there's like marbling, stuff like that. Um, this one, we got a sparkly, another kind of crinkled. So yeah, you just have things of different sizes, kind of like linen. Um, there's different squares, I'm definitely going to be using that. picked up two of these night lights because it's a brand name. Owl stickers because I always look for them. Um, I'm not really a big fan of these red truck ones, but it's still pretty cool. And then I picked up some butterflies. Some of my Halloween stuff I did pick up. I believe it should be okay to put on my window. I only had one of these in the store that I was at. And it's this cool brick wall. I'm actually going to use that for a future, not a project or DIY, but for hopefully whenever I do move sometime next year, I did pick up. The creepy cloth. I don't know. I mean, I know I'm gonna be using it. And then these are some of the books I found. So, Little Sister was apparently $33.99 in Canada. Um, 
It's about a girl named Rose, and she's dreaming, but she doesn't realize if she's inhabiting a stranger or whatever. Um, this is called Head On, a novel of the near future. I just now noticed, see, these things are going to come handy for crafting. This one was $25.99 in U.S., so apparently $33.99 in Canada is $25.99, so for a dollar. Um, I got this blue blue guitar. I got this one at probably not Dollar Tree. No, this was at Gordman's for $3.98, and I think I actually saved a few more. This one also was at Gordman's for $3.98, but I think it was even less. Originally 27 I mean, I don't know if you guys like country music. Naomi Judd. I thought that'd be kind of cool. Um, yeah, this was $25.95 originally, so. And then I also found this virology book. $14.95. I don't know. If I don't like it, then I'll just donate it to one of the little free libraries. Um, I'm into llamas for little notepad. That's also Dollar Tree. I did pick up some of these handy dandy maple leaf things, which I'm going to put there. I got another two of these. Because um, I'm always needing these containers. Let's see what else. These were also Dollar Tree books. I'm not into Instagram, but I can definitely use this. Um, and then I found this Ray Darling, this one. So, like from the 1930s. This is hard to show you, like. So these it talks about how homemade rag dolls were actually made and what kind of products they used. Um, it's crazy that you have stuff like that. Um, there's some pictures. And then Jack Spratt flower. Um, it's from the feed sack era. So, that's the back of the book. Um, Kansas City Star Quilts. Trying to see. It's by Gloria Nixon. Some cute little pictures at the front. You can definitely use them to put captions underneath. Um, and I'm sure it's no relation to Richard Nixon. I don't know how much this one is. There's a cute picture at the end, too. That would make a good framed picture when I move. I'm going to have some really neat images. It doesn't say. I don't know. It's, it goes through, like, 1936. Um, I don't know. Feed sack era would have been right, right around the Great Depression, I believe. Um, I'm going to slow it down a little bit here. Um, my bed's kind of a mess because I'm trying to reorganize that. I had to move out my old wood traditional clothes dresser and I bought something that was doesn't fit as much but the lower six ones I use for clothes and then I got rid of a bag and a half of clothes that I'm just not enthused about um, I have some crafts I have to work on um, out in the kitchen of course it was a pretty good day today uh, 
And then I did go to Michael's. It's a the color bright bright colors. And it's got eight drawers. And then I picked up some other things. I picked up this Antoinette pad. And then, of course, these really cute. This one says Pinkaboo. Um, I can't really show. I got some funky pumpkins. The spider. Uh, ghosts. And little skulls. The spider web. And then some other multicolor. And then we have the green witch. That has spooky hands. Or spooky. See, there's green, there's this herbal grimoire. I like stuff with the writing because that's good for um, different art journals. And then my favorite purple with the crows or ravens, whichever you want to call them, black woods, either way. And then Halloween party. And each one of these are the six by six, pretty much, with 24 sheets, two of each kind. So we got the classic. This is more classic. You can use that, like, for borders and stuff. We got ghost. Um, there's spider webs. Everybody likes black cats. We got another classic. Happy Halloween classic background and then these type of things and what was the other one? That one is one. So that's what I did. Um, yeah, I'm just trying to throw away some junk that I don't need and figure out what else I'm going to do. Um, I really can't do house hunting until probably closer to March. So I'd have to wait past winter because there's just no way that I can do any moving or anything like that until I get my, gotta get my darn credit score where it needs to be. And I have to meet with my credit union people to find out kind of what they're policies are about home loans and that fun stuff. Um, sorry my voice is hoarse. I think it's honestly because I'm working in a cold room that, oh man, like it was 38 to 40 degrees in there and I'm just like freezing. And you know, working with that and then getting wet from washing berries, have to go get berries and um, didn't really have to cut a whole lot, mostly just berries and kiwi. And it was just kind of, ugh, I got done actually a little bit early. I normally work till two, but I, it's like, there wasn't much else to do. <laughs> but we got it done, and I don't know. Um, I have tomorrow off. So, I don't know what I'm going to do. I have a couple appointments in the afternoon. So, sorry I'm kind of all over the place today and rushed and whatnot, but I did want to put the video out and, I don't know, So I mean, this is kind of how I talk. I'm not some super major, like, I'm not an actor. Um, I think I'd burn my tongue a while back, that one too, and I think, like, Oh, my throat's just, ugh. So I'm going to take it easy for the rest of the day, night, whatever. Um, and finish my other art and whatever else.
Thanks for tuning in.